Welcome to the learning bits. I'm Santosh here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the code block IDE and along with OpenGL libraries to execute any OpenGL program. So as step one, I want you to download the software package which is in the zip file and in the given following link. Right? So note it down this link. So or else I'll be even putting up this link in the comment section. You can just check it out or in the description of the video, you can check out this link. And in the step two, uh, once you have finished the download, so make sure you have got this package, something called as CB win glut setup. Fine. And it's going to be approximately 85 MB size. And so at the step two, you're going to unzip or extract the package, which you're going to get at the following package. So once this is done, once this is done, so open the folder, open the folder, and you can just see the setup file. So where you're going to set up the uh, set up the code blocks, and this code blocks is going to be of min gw. That is, it's going to use the compiler to compile all your C program or C++ program in this compiler. Hence, so double click on this and it's going to start and it's going to start installation. And if you have set up any user control access, it's going to pop this message else the installation will begin. So click on S and click on next. And uh, just if you want, you can go through the terms and conditions, go to this and click on I agree. And just keep it all the default installation keep as it is and click on next and if you want you can choose the different path but right now I want this IDE to be installed in the C4 C drive under the program file x86 because it's in it's a going to be 32 bit version hence I am going to put it in the folder code boss if you want you can change this and I'm going to click on install and it takes some time for installation to complete we'll wait until the installation is going to complete okay it's almost done almost done and the installation is complete so it's going to ask you do you want to run the core blocks now just click on no because we are yet to configure with the OpenGL libraries okay, so click on no and click on next and click on finish now the core blocks installation has been done if you want you can just check it out you can check it out as the core box shortcut has been created on the desktop if you want you can open the application and you can just see but it has been done the installation has been done and so now uh, so now as you are done with the one with the installation of code blocks the next step is you are going to Open the readme file. Readme file. So in this readme file, I have given you step by step steps how exactly this three file should be copied and where it should be move, moved enough. Hence, I'm just going to I'm just going to open this file. I'm going to open this test file, and in this, just look at this. I'm just going to have this four steps. So please follow these four steps. The first step is done that is installation of core block application is done now we'll move on to step two so in the step two it says that copy the glut.h file i've just told copy the glut.h file that is this is the glut.h because if you just look at if you just look at the type it's an header file hence i'm just going to copy this file copy this file and so this file should be pasted at C program file code blocks min gw include and gl folder and so let me minimize this so go to the path what it has been mentioned i'll go for c drive in the c drive program file x86 and find for code blocks under the code blocks min gw and include and gl so just paste that header file here fine so it's going to ask for the permission so being administrator you need to give the permission and click on continue fine 
so the one step is done so now in the second step we are going to copy we are going to copy the file glut32.lib and this is glut32.lib so copy this file now and follow the path c program file core blocks mean gw and the library and follow the path with c and the program files so it should be program file 86 code blocks mean gw and lib fine and just it's over here it's going to ask for permission click on continue so it will be successfully copied over here so now this is done and move on to step 4 now you need to copy the file named with glu32.dl dll so copy this file now and copying just for the path so c drive windows system 32 so hence go to the c drive and c drive go to the windows and go to system 32 so find system 32 folder and paste it over here so it will ask for a replace let's replace the file in destination and click on continue and so now this is done now all the four steps has been done hence your installation has been successfully done even the configuration is also has been done fine and so now open the code blocks this dashboard is going to arrive now whatever the program you want to execute specifically if it is open gel program now you're going to click on create a new project or you can go to file and new and you can choose project in whatever the link you're going to follow so when i click on the new project so in this click on new project so you need to search for glut project if you want to execute a open gel program so you need to choose the glut project so if it is hard to find in this lot of options so you can filter it out using 2d or 3d graphics only hence now you can easily find the glut project so select it and click on go and it's going to offer a project title so just uh, give the project title as sample and just giving the project as sample if you want you can give any name here and if you observe as i type the title so you can see the project file name has changed sample.cbp do not change anything over here because cbp is the extension of the code block project and so now if you want you can change the path if you want you can change the path so let me select the desktop right now and i'm just going to select the desktop as the path so hence the, my file will be saved on the desktop and with the file or folder name as sample now click on next so not, nothing else you should do here so give the title and select the path where it wants to be saved so click on next and make sure and make sure this is going to be the same path wherever we have saved the location of the glut the include and library that should be the path over here so please check out for this path before you proceed so once this is done so click on next and so we are going to have create debug configuration so any of if you want to release your program or as a release package you can click on this but right now we are working on a sample program since i don't need release configuration just make sure the debug configuration is checked out and the compiler is going to be gnu this is the compiler and now click on finish upon doing this so your project is created successfully and to view and to view the sample code of your project because this code block is going to give a sample code and so click on this source folder open the source folder under the source folder you can see a file name with main.cpp and by default your project is going to create a default file with the name main.cpp just double click on this you can see list of instructions the default instruction has got n number of code this is an open gl program as an example and as a sample so just to check it out whether your configuration or the installation is working fine so now just test whether this is working fine or not so to do that 
whatever the program you create if you want to compile and execute that is what we do with the build it is equivalent to compiling a program and run is equivalent to executing a program or you can click on this which does both the job at a time build and run now this is the first time we are doing this and we'll click on the build so when i click on the build the log file will be created if there's any error yeah there is an error now in this program there is an error with glut.h so to see what the error so click on the log window so now what is the window you want to view you can choose what window you want to view and what window you want to hide from the view button so now if i just look at the list of errors is something to do with the library errors and so to solve this to solve this so remember so remember along with the glut library along with the glut library if you are working in windows you need to make sure that you need to make sure that you are going to include one more header file called as windows you need to include the windows header file before gl glut dot h right so now we'll just try to compile so when i am trying to build this uh, now it's working fine and so i got zero errors zero warnings and now you can execute the program and so if you are able to see this output your installation is working fine and your open gel configuration library is also working fine fine so in the next video i am just going to show you what is the basic structure of open gel program should be so now if you just if you look at this program it's going to be a complicated program right i'll just make your understanding of job easy in my next video i will just show you how exactly you are going to have the basic open gel program fine right? have a basic structure of open gel program thank you so please comment like subscribe and share my video and through this channel for more updates thank you